Yeah, Lemon's probably gonna have a problem with the whole drugs thing. Hey. Hi. I wanted to talk to you about something. Alright, sure. May I come in? Thank you. No problem. So, what did you want to talk about? Have you heard what I'm going to be announcing next? I did. And I actually, I wanted to talk to you about it, so this works out. Um, my main question is, why? Malachi. He is what? out, and I don't know who to trust. Oh. It's not like I'm banning every potion. Things like healing and general purpose like fire resistance and invisibility don't fall okay. under it. It's just things that are purely combat focused, like strength. Okay. Sorry, I just... Wouldn't it be helpful for people to have those? Like, you know, for self-defense? In case he does try something? The thing is, it's just conflict de-escalation. If you de-escalate a conflict, conflicts are less likely to happen as a result. I mean, I get what you're saying, but like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Has anyone else talked to you about this, or am I the first one you're like, consulting? Cosmo has a little bit, but... Hmm. I just know, I mean, yeah, I've got thoughts on it. Definitely gonna want to talk to Froggy and Loop if Froggy town. They'll probably have a couple of concerns. But I mean, yeah, taking away combat potion. It is one way to stop a conflict, but like it is taking those tools away from people. Like I don't know how to feel. Like we can't just I don't know if like baby proofing potions is the way to go about stopping Malachi from actually committing mass murder again. It's not really baby proofing. It's more like, imagine it like this. If someone is caught unaware by Malachi, then they're not going to have potions available either way. If Malachi has potions, then that way they will be significantly outmatched. And there's no way they can even get their own in the first place. So they may try and get their own, fail, and thus doom their own life. But if you take potions out of the playing field, not only is it much more even, then he can't jump someone with a significant advantage. Because I, mean, I don't know about you, but I don't carry potions around me constantly. And I'm no, more I paranoid don't. than most. Um... Would Malachi even follow that law? Like, I don't... He doesn't strike me as an anarchist, but... Gonna be honest, it's less about Malachi following the law and more about Adrian making sure he does. Speaking of Adrian, have you seen him around recently? I know he mentioned he was, like, going... I don't... I, I haven't seen... I think he was sick a few weeks ago, but I haven't seen anything from him since. He looked sick the last... Yeah. I was worried. It looked severe, like, nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like it either. Yeah, that's concerning. Mm. Especially with all the facial rotting stuff. That's... Ugh. Yeah, it's not. Anyway, we're getting off topic. Um... Right, sorry. <laughs> so this is to stop Malachi and also Adrian from potentially getting drugged and harmful potion that he could use against Yes. And, of course, any potential allies he may have. Right. But I mean, would anyone even ally with him? Like, I don't think any of his allies are, like, left. Malachi has a way with people. I mean, you saw what happened to Mace, and he seems the least likely out of anyone. Yeah. You have a point. I think you should definitely talk to people about this, though. Yeah. Like, I think... I think at first... Yeah, I think I will hold, like, a 
public debate about it. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. Just mm. obviously, if there's okay. absolute public outroar, then I'll reverse it. But for now, because yeah. it's it's a good idea. I just in practice, I'm not. I'm a little skeptical about it. What about potions that are already made? Like I have some, would I have to get rid of them or? I feel like this would have to be prohibition laws. No giving them to other people for sale or for gifts, and no actual production of them. But I feel like okay. ownership should be permitted, although that might need to change if it gets exploited. Yeah. Froggy. This. I'm sorry, I'm just saying ahead of time. Froggy like doesn't operate much here anyway, honestly. And I mean, that's where most of the Loophole's family income comes from. Her selling things. Yeah, but... it's just, just as long as she's not producing them here, which she usually isn't. I don't... Yeah. It's none of my business. She's got places outside. Yeah, so no. <laughs> it's not like I'm cutting off a major income source. Yeah. Plus, it's not like this economy really relies on those anyway. We don't really have an economy. We trade them. A barter um, trade system is an economy. Oh, Even if it's not okay. a very prolific one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm not big on economics or business or anything, so... Yeah, it's... The economic policy we have here is, honestly, the first economic policy that a lot of societies make, where it's based around a combination of barter and favours. So it's like, if you give me ten wool, I will give you five leather later, or I will get for you five leather, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Most places to go to work. Mm. It's just easy. Yeah, some places use like currency as a middleman, and that is honestly just so that countries can go to war. Yeah. That and it allows people to centralize power a lot easier. Mm -hmm. How's presidency going for you, by the way? Honestly, it feels less like president presidency and more like mayorship. Like, it's just a lot of paperwork. It's not like we're really a country, right? Like... No, I mean... Like less than 20 of us live here, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know, why do we... Why do we call it a president in the first place? I don't know. I... I might I mean, be over this. <laughs> I mean, president had humble origins in the beginning. It was like the leader of your local golf club or something. Do you know what golf is? I've heard of it. Never played it. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm not really much sports. Except yeah. Bed Wars. I have played Bed Wars. Oh, right, yeah, you were from Hypixel, weren't right? you? Well, I'm not really technically from Hypixel, but I did spend a good amount of my youth there. That's where I met Loop. Right. It's a fun place. Absolutely, like, crazy, but very fun. Right. Yeah. Not a lot of sports. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could make some presidential power and all that. State-mandated sport. Every person needs to dunk at least ten baskets by the end of the week. <laughs> Score quota. <laughs> I want those abs built, people. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think you're doing a pretty good job. Thank you, I... Yeah. I mean, the bar was pretty low with Malachi as our president. You haven't tried to kill anybody. Yeah, and I haven't incited a revolution yet. Yeah. Those... Both, and you haven't tried to execute anyone. Yes, You're doing good point. Great. I have not killed anyone yet. That was honestly a terrible PR movement for him. No, he... It was just... 
bad. Like, mm. the whole taxes thing? Like, Why was he even taxing? What was he even taxing? I don't. We don't have an apparently? income. It was so <laughs> scuffed. He, it was, he just wanted money. That's literally it. It was robbery. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he didn't realize that money didn't exist anymore. At least not here. <laughs> Did money exist here at some point? Is that it? like? I'm not sure. I imagine in this geographical area, probably. Because I'm not too sharp on the history of this server, so... Yeah, there have been grand empires here before. How long have you been around here? I mean, pretty much all my life. I've gone to, like, Hypixel and Mindplex occasionally just to see what they are. More as, like, a yeah. tourist than... As an actual citizen. I've also done some traveling, but not much on this server, more like two other servers. I only really stay around like the main Spanish area here. Yeah, there's not much on the server anymore. I like stuff. It was cool. Like I've only been to one other city here and that went horribly. Was yeah. that like Bellkeep? That was Bellkeep. I don't know. If maybe Adrian already knew about it, or... Yeah, that... He's still really, really upset with about it, which I can understand why, but... Last time I interacted with him, he seemed scared he was gonna die, so... He what? I mean, the whole face-rotting thing. Mm, yeah, that's... He won't die, right? I don't think so. Pretty sure it's a soul issue, and apart from me, he's pretty much the most knowledgeable person about that, so... God, I'd check up on him, but I don't know where his other house is. I also don't know if he would appreciate me to his property. Yeah, I think it's several thousand blocks away from here. And he walked there? Yeah. Apparently it's a multi-day trip. Jesus. What? You ought to set up another portal or something. Yeah. There wasn't any sort of portal from here to Bellkeep either. We had to walk the whole way. Ugh. Trip. How far away was it? Like, also a couple thousand blocks out. Yeah. hundred thousand. I don't... I don't really remember. It was just a lot of walking. Right, okay. It probably seemed longer than it was, because, you know, anxiety or whatever, but... Yeah. Wretched trip overall. Yeah. I just... It was a whole entire cult. Like, whole founder worshippers, which is, like, so weird. I don't know much about the founders, but weren't they just, like, regular people? Pretty much, yeah. They had, like, powerful souls, but apart from that, they're kind of just normal people. There was a whole shrine to Malachi, and it was just really uncomfortable. Yeah. I also just don't like cult. I don't know if it does, but mm -hmm. really, I don't... It's interesting in a weird way, because like, I wonder what caused them to worship the founders of all people, but I guess Ooh, mysterious historical figure mm. as some sort of appeal. I mean, the founders were the last people with the true great technology and the knowledge of how to build it. Everyone else is just kind of here picking up the remnants. Yeah, so I've heard. Apparently the place where Loop found Mace was like from like the founder age or some weird Nuclear Wasn't it? power. Oh, right, yeah, those. Yeah. Those were... Interesting. Basically, they took some really weird, really dangerous rocks and turned them into controllable lightning, which they then used to power literally everything. That's wild. 
Yeah. Explains why Mace's blood was radioactive. Aren't you supposed to not go near the rock? Like... Yeah. That... It explains a lot. Yeah, it gives you... Cancer... Sickness... Makes your hair fall out, makes you throw up everywhere... Puts holes in your everything. Not fun. Ew, yeah, no, not fun. Is there any, like... I know you mentioned that Adrian Sickness soul and stuff. Is that, like... You think it affected Mace or anything? I'm not sure. Has Adrian talked to you about what happened with, like, his eye and his arm? Said it was a lab accident? Okay, he hasn't told you the details then. Oh, we're not, we're like just barely talking to each other again. He did one of his weapons. An interesting day. Oh, was that the crossbow thing? Yeah. Okay, then. It was then. kind of unpleasant. Does he have a name for that, by the way? It was like... Lethe or something? Lethe? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sounds about right. Mm. Um, it... It made me... Forget. Like, it sent... Me and my memory back to, like, I was 17. It was... A weird trip. Right, okay. It was just, ugh. Like, unpleasant, aside from the whole being shot thing, just very... Right, so did you, like, recover memories from that time? How so? Like... Because it's like... You wouldn't remember the day-to-day things that happened back when you were 17. But when you got shot with it, did you remember what happened yesterday? From that perspective. Yeah, I just got sent back, like, right into the moment. I was... Oh, right. Was Even where... short-term memory. Yeah. I was thinking where Loop was. I was really freaked out. Because I was in a place that wasn't high pixel. And none of my friends were near. Right. Okay, it was... then. It was a time. It was a time. Would not recommend. Yeah, doesn't sound fun. Not at all. I don't, I don't even think I agreed to being a subject, but not a good time. <laughs> mm. Yeah, what he said to me implied that he would have done it, whether you agreed to it or not, so... Oh, that's... Well yeah. then, that's... oh. But yeah, the reason I brought everything, like, uh, the reason I brought this whole thing up. The actual lab accident. You know how when he messed up Mace's memories, I told him to not grab the soul? Yeah. Oh. He's not very good at following advice. And Mace has not been seen since. He, he's just Gone? Either he's fucked off somewhere, or yes, he's just gone. And that would mean that Adrian not only killed his memories, but killed him afterwards. I was just getting the concept of it again. I... I know, it's just... It's not fun having your emotions whipped around like this, but it's... It's not fun when you're... You know, you're mourning someone, and then they're back, and then they're gone again. 
Like, it hasn't even been a whole month. Yeah. I mean... Literally... I mean, I think it has, actually. It's been, like... Uh, maybe. I... I think it's been, like, three weeks that I know he's been gone, and I've just been... Yeah. Right, right. I'm not the best with keeping track of time. Yeah, I was it... hoping that he would have come back at this point, but... Considering that he hasn't at all... Well, people have rarely come back from MIA. All this sucks. Yeah. That's one way to put it. I... it's... I'm gonna need a while to process this. You want anything to eat or anything? I uh... got... Cookies, potatoes. Um, I've already eaten, sorry. It's fine. I'm gonna have to tell Loop about this again. Frog. Do you want me to, like, put off the debate so they can... No, it's... It's fine, and there's people besides us that need to... Yeah. Mm. Is there anything you need to ask me about... Or... No, I think... I think we've both got enough to think of for now. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever need to talk or... I am here. Yeah. I'm not doing science farm. Whatever. Mm. Yeah. Remember, no more potion making. <laughs> right, yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. Mm-hmm.